Scientists have discovered the true ferocity of a huge volcanic eruption off the coast of Tonga in January. When we think of volcanoes, images of fiery explosions and billowing smoke often come to mind. However, most people have no idea about the overwhelming power of underwater volcanoes and their capacity for much more devastating destruction than land volcanoes. In a shocking turn of events, the world's largest underwater volcano has recently cracked and scientists are losing their minds. What would be the devastating consequences of this explosion? And is there any possibility of survival? Let's find out why the world's largest underwater volcano cracked and what it means for the world. In 1883, the world bore witness to one of history's deadliest and most devastating volcanic events, a cataclysmic eruption on the Indonesian volcanic island of Krakatoa. This eruption unleashed a series of tsunamis, leaving behind an unfathomable destruction. The sheer force of this eruption resulted in the collapse of most of the island of Krakatoa, while fine particles expelled into the atmosphere initiated a global cooling effect, resulting in a widespread drop in temperatures. However, recent developments have taken an alarming turn. The Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai volcano has recently experienced an abrupt crack, and it seems like almost everyone has been walking on eggshells around it. While the risk of the Hunga Tonga volcano cracking has always been there, the notion of experiencing the most catastrophic eruption in modern history seemed distant, until now. To make matters worse, scientists have revealed that the probability of a massive explosion has increased to 360%. This level of risk surpasses what the world can feasibly handle, intensifying the urgency for immediate action and preparedness in the face of this looming threat. The planet hasn't recovered from the 2022 Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai eruption, which was much lesser in magnitude, but caused significant damage to our ozone layer. Before we explore the impact of the world's largest underwater volcano and the possibility of human survival, let's first look at the nature of this volcano. The Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai underwater volcano is a breathtaking natural marvel located in the expansive Pacific Ocean. This cone-shaped submarine volcano is located near the 171 islands that make up the Kingdom of Tonga. Descending to depths of approximately 500 feet below sea level, it unveils a captivating display of geological activity. The Kingdom of Tonga itself is a Polynesian country located south of Samoa, southeast of Fiji, and northeast of New Zealand. Its remote location adds to the allure of this volcanic phenomenon. Tonga's capital city, Nuku Alofa, rests 65 kilometers to the south of Tongatapu, while New Zealand lies 2,000 kilometers to the south and Australia nearly 3,000 kilometers to the southwest. The Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai volcano is composed of two small islands, Hunga Tonga and Hunga Ha'apai, along with shallow reefs lining the rim of a larger submarine structure known as a caldera. This captivating volcano is just one of 12 volcanoes situated along the Tofua Arc, which forms part of the Tonga Kermadec Volcanic Arc. Here, the mighty Pacific Plate is subducted beneath the Indo-Australian Plate, giving rise to this awe-inspiring volcanic chain. The sheer power of this natural marvel is truly staggering. Reports suggest that during the peak of its eruption, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai volcano unleashed a force equivalent to approximately 100 Hiroshima bombs. As its fiery fury reached its crescendo, millions of tons of water vapor were propelled high into the atmosphere. Before the eruption of 2022, the volcano's caldera rested approximately 150 meters below sea level, boasting a size of 4 kilometers by 2 kilometers. Over time, the northern and southern sections of the caldera had accumulated layers of volcanic deposits from previous eruptions, a testament to the volcano's turbulent past. Keep watching to find out why the world's largest underwater volcano cracked, but let's first shed more light on the islands around these massive eruptions. What is it about the Tonga Islands that support these terrifying eruptions? Tonga has a rich cultural heritage and is known for its friendly people, beautiful beaches, and stunning natural landscapes. The islands offer a range of activities for visitors, including snorkeling, diving, kayaking, 
and exploring the unique marine life. Tonga is also famous for its traditional handicrafts, such as woven mats, tapa cloth, and wood carvings. The economy of Tonga relies heavily on agriculture, fishing, and remittances from Tongan communities overseas. The primary crops grown in Tonga include coconuts, bananas, vanilla, and root crops. Unfortunately, the Kingdom of Tonga has fallen victim to a series of catastrophic events. Volcanic eruptions, both major and minor, erosions and fires caused by charging electric waves, have left a profound impact on the kingdom. Since the devastating eruption that occurred in January 2022, Tonga has been plunged into a state of utter destruction, a mere shadow of its former self. Astonishingly, only a small portion of the island remains visible above the ocean's surface, leaving one with the impression that a substantial chunk of land has vanished without a trace. The capital city, Nukualofa, once a bustling hub of commerce and industry, now lies shrouded in an eternal haze of volcanic ash. Layers upon layers of ash plumes and residue have blanketed the city, turning its once mighty buildings into fragmented structures resembling mere remnants of their former grandeur. Toppled walls and debris now litter the streets that were once bustling with vehicles, replaced by a haunting scene of fallen tree trunks and scattered wreckage. The series of tsunamis and lightning charges have further exacerbated the devastation, wiping out entire villages, eroding the delicate ecosystem, and leaving little hope for survival in their wake. The impact of this sudden eruption has been nothing short of catastrophic. More than 80% of Tonga's population has been forced to flee their homes, their lives upended by this tragic event. However, Nukualofa is not the only city grappling with the aftermath of these shockwaves. The entire island finds itself engaged in a battle for survival, a poignant reminder of the numerous challenges that Tonga will confront in the years to come, both in terms of its ecosystem and environment. The coral reefs surrounding Tonga, once vibrant and teeming with life, now lie in ruins. The extensive damage poses a significant threat to the survival of marine life in the area. Furthermore, the prospects for crop cultivation are grim. The production of staple crops such as corn, bananas, and garden vegetables has been indefinitely halted. The combination of ash-laden downpours mingling with the ocean, along with the looming possibility of acidic rainfall, paints a bleak picture of Tonga's inhabitable future. Was the volcanic eruption of Tonga expected or suddenly triggered? The eruption of the Tonga underwater volcano in 2022 left people in a state of surprise. What's particularly intriguing is the lack of warnings from scientists, climatologists, or even local residents who witnessed strange behaviors on the island before the eruption. Speculations suggest that the signs were either ignored or not attended to. Let's delve into the reasons behind the sudden awakening of this sleeping giant. Situated about 40.3 miles off the coast of the island of Tongatapu, this underwater volcano has long been an environmental hazard and a strain on the ozone layer. However, unlike above surface volcanoes, this eruption occurred underwater, falling into the category of a submarine volcano. Submarine volcanoes are vents or cracks in the Earth's surface that release magma. Most of these volcanoes are found near tectonic plate formation areas known as mid-ocean ridges. In fact, these underwater volcanoes account for about 75% of our planet's magma output. While most of these volcanoes lie deep in the ocean, some can be found in shallow waters and cause eruptions that shoot material into the atmosphere. It is estimated that there are over 1 million underwater volcanoes, although the majority of them are extinct or dormant. Only around 75,000 of them rise within one kilometer from the seabed. Interestingly, in the last 11,700 years, only 119 eruptions have been recorded, surpassing even the historic eruption of Krakatoa in 1883. The 2022 eruption of the Tonga underwater volcano garnered significant attention due to its extensive documentation through written and visual sources. The recorded shock wave was the largest ever, and the eruption plume reached unprecedented heights. The impact of the blast was even compared to the strength of the Hiroshima nuclear explosion. 
The sound of the eruption was heard from as far as Alaska, and winds at the edge of space reached hurricane speeds. The plume rose close to 20 kilometers and contained around 50 kilotons of sulfur dioxide, spreading the smell of sulfur throughout Tongatapu, Ha'apai, and neighboring islands. Ashfall was reported on Foy Mango and other islands, leading to the cancellation of all domestic flights. Over the course of 24 hours, a staggering 191,000 lightning events were recorded, peaking at 30,000 per hour. The eruption swept through the Tonga Islands, causing widespread destruction of buildings and structures. Thousands of people were forcibly displaced from their homes. In the aftermath of the eruption, NASA immediately began researching and observing changes in the atmosphere's water content and the presence of sulfur dioxide. Each eruption releases gas, steam, ash, and dust that inevitably impact surface temperatures. With every eruption, the outcomes seem to be increasingly disastrous, fueling concerns about an impending catastrophe. The Tonga underwater volcano had remained relatively dormant for some time before its sudden outburst, which resulted in a tsunami and powerful shock waves measuring approximately 15 meters in height. These shock waves generated an astonishing 191,000 lightning flashes within 24 hours, with a peak rate of 30,000 per hour. While there have been several other underwater volcanic eruptions over time, they often go unnoticed due to their relatively minor scale. However, the effects of these eruptions are far from insignificant. Tonga has experienced a significant amount of seismic activity and volcanic eruptions over the past century. These eruptions are likely caused by the shifting and movement of the oceanic crust beneath the islands, which is typical of this region. The volcanoes are located along fractures that are likely the result of the movement of the crustal plates on either side of the island chain. This movement influences the frequency and severity of the eruptions. The volcanoes and seamounts are situated along a submarine ridge west of the Tonga Trench. Unfortunately, the aftermath of the massive eruption is not easily overcome. Many residents of Tonga have been left with nothing but remnants of their former lives. Reports indicate that approximately 84% of Tonga's population was impacted by ash and tsunami waves immediately following the eruption, and two Tongan nationals lost their lives in the disaster. The eruption of the Tonga underwater volcano is truly remarkable and serves as a reminder of nature's unpredictable and devastating ways. Many believed that an eruption was unlikely, considering the volcano's long period of dormancy. However, its sudden and violent burst can be considered the most intense volcanic eruption since the 1991 Mount Pinatubo eruption in the Philippines. Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai, the underwater volcano in question, differs from other volcanoes in terms of its dramatic activities, eruption scares, constant steaming, and limited spillage. Being underwater and covered by great depths of water, it is challenging to detect many of its activities often leading them to be dismissed as underwater waves or currents. The eruption of the Tonga underwater volcano serves as a vivid reminder of the forces at work beneath the Earth's surface and the potential for catastrophic events that can occur without warning. It underscores the importance of ongoing research and monitoring to better understand and predict these natural phenomena. While the eruption has caused significant devastation, it also presents an opportunity for scientists to study the aftermath and learn more about the long-term impacts of such eruptions on the environment and the affected communities. What makes the Hunga Tonga Ha'apai volcano different and the impact of the volcano? Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai is not your ordinary volcano. Despite its caldera being about 500 feet below sea level, it surpasses the volcanic explosivity index of other volcanoes that have been known to cause catastrophic impacts. In a recent interview, Alexa Van Eaton, the lead author of a study on the volcano, emphasized that Hunga Tonga's eruption broke all records, defying theoretical limits for plume height and eruption rate. We've all heard stories of historic volcanic eruptions that have left a lasting impact. The eruption of Mount Tambora in 1815, known as the Year Without a Summer, claimed the lives of over 36,000 people. Then there was the volcanic winter of 536, which plunged the world into darkness for 18 months. 
And who can forget the Lockheed eruption of 1783, which unleashed a deadly haze of sulfur dioxide across Europe? But imagine an underwater volcano that is even more powerful than these historic events, and it's happening right now. The terrifying truth about Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai is that it is a lingering threat from the past, just waiting to unleash untold nightmares if not properly monitored and prepared for. What sets it apart is its ability to impact not just its immediate surroundings, but the entire global system, both underwater and above water. One of the most devastating consequences of its eruption is the warming effect it has on the planet. Unlike typical volcanoes that cause cooling effects after an eruption, Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai takes a completely different turn. It has the potential to cause global warming for decades. The last eruption in January 2022 caused temporary warming over the Pacific, pushing temperatures over 1.5 degrees Celsius. When the volcano erupted, an estimated 146 metric megatons of water entered the stratosphere, surpassing the Earth's surface. This water turned into vapor and trapped heat, acting as a greenhouse gas and leading to a significant rise in temperatures. But that's not the only concern. The eruption releases plumes of sulfur directly into the atmosphere, resulting in tiny particle residues that block sunlight and cause temperatures to drop below average for several years or even decades. The impact of Hunga Tonga's eruptions from past years is still visible, and the recovery process has been slow. If history has taught us anything, it's that the effects of the predicted eruption may be irreparable. Let's take a closer look at the aftermath of past eruptions and how they have shaped the ecosystem today. The 2022 eruption, despite being the most powerful, is not the first of its kind. There have been several eruptions in the past, with the first recorded eruption in 1912. Since then, eruptions occurred in 1937 and 1988 and smaller ones in between. These eruptions have already reshaped the Pacific seafloor, with violent debris covering an area of over 50 miles. The landscape has been transformed, with large deposits of ash, dust, and rocks altering the land's appearance. The impact on the ecosystem is profound. The release of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide gases triggers acidic rain and increases the spread of plumes, affecting marine life and vegetation. Thousands of sea animals are buried under volcanic ash, habitats are contaminated, and land fertility is at risk. The lush vegetative environment has turned into barren land, and the surrounding areas are prone to erosions, earthquakes, and tsunamis, leading to further land deterioration. The consequences go beyond the environment. Being an island, Tonga heavily relies on marine products for consumption, employment, and trade. With the disruption of marine ecosystems, staple crops and fish populations suffer, leading to food insecurity and financial losses. Tonga's economy has already been hit hard by the pandemic, and the eruption has dealt another blow, destroying buildings, displacing thousands of people, and disrupting commercial activities. The country has an additional worry. In the event of another massive eruption from the supervolcano beneath Yellowstone National Park, Ash could be expelled across thousands of miles within the United States. This would result in the destruction of buildings, the suffocation of crops, and the disruption of power plants. Such an occurrence would undoubtedly constitute a monumental catastrophe. The impact extends beyond Tonga's borders. The eruption's rigorous activities have caused an oil spillage in Peru, affecting the ocean and drawing global attention. Water contamination has led to the spread of illnesses and diseases, particularly water-related diseases and respiratory illnesses. The fight against the COVID-19 pandemic has also been complicated by these circumstances. While there are restoration plans and projects in place, the future of Tonga and the rest of the world remains uncertain. Will the predictions of scientists hold true, and will the coming eruption cause irreparable damage? Only time will tell. In the meantime, it is crucial to prioritize maintenance, observation, and preparation to increase the chances of survival in the face of this looming threat. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share your opinion about the underwater volcano, and if you believe it can be managed, please like, share, and subscribe for more amazing content.